Hello, good morning. Oh. Is that Felicity Richards? Yes, yes it is. Hello. Hi, I'm Tony Spears. I'm the HR manager here. Good morning, Tony. Well, uh, Miss Richards. Oh, please, call me Felicity. Oh, okay. Well, Felicity, well done on getting through our initial online application for one of the exciting roles at our new, unique retail experience here in London. Uh, we're conducting several, many Zoom interviews over the next few days with our long list of candidates, but you should know that there are only 12 posts available. So uh, you are one of over 250 candidates that we'll be seeing over the next few days. Well, I'm used to those kind of odds. <laughs> sorry? I'm so sorry. I interrupted you. Please continue and we will be letting the successful candidates know by email if we're going to take them to the next stage. So if you don't hear anything by Monday, that means we won't be taking you any further. Is, is that all clear? Yes, perfectly clear. Thank you, Tony. Good. So I'm just going to ask you a few questions, short questions. It shouldn't take more than about five minutes. Uh, look, I should say before I do so that we looked at your online application and, and it didn't quite fulfil our criteria. We were very intrigued by your reference to many years of public facing roles, but you don't go into any detail about what those roles were. And as we don't discriminate against age or experience, we just wanted to understand what your experiences were before we moved on to the more formal questions. Is that okay? Oh, of course, yes, that, that's fine. Good. So, what were these public-facing roles you've had? Well, let me think. I've, play I've been a housekeeper and a nanny. Okay, they're not very public-facing, really, are they? No, I, I suppose not. Um, well, I've, al I've also been a hairdresser. And a florist. A hairdresser? Where, where, where was that? Oh, in London, of course. Whereabouts? In the West End. No, I'm, I'm really sorry. I, I don't mean to be inappropriate. I just... <laughs> I just got this feeling we've met before. Where was the florist? Oh, I'm sure you wouldn't know. It, it, it was tucked away in Soho, just off Shaftesbury Avenue. And when was that? Oh, many years ago now. Uh, um, for how long? Oh, the run... The job was for 12 months. And why did you stop being a florist? It closed. The florist? Well, not exactly. It... Look, uh, will you excuse me just one minute? I'm just going to pop you on mute and I'm going to leave the screen, but I'll be back shortly. Is, is that okay? Yeah. Yes, of course. That's, that's, that's fine. Thank you, Felicity. Steve, could you come over here? I'm just going to click the screen on this candidate. Can you take a look at it and tell me if you recognise it from anywhere? No, mate. Never seen her before. Why? Look, I've, um, I've got to get back to this interview. Can you do me a favour? Can you Google Flick Richards and ping me a message? Sure thing. Thanks, mate. Sorry about that, Felicity. Oh, not at all. Now, That's fine. Let's get back to these jobs you've had. Well, are there any of them that have been more retail focused? Oh, well, let me see. Uh, uh, yes, I was a shopkeeper for a while. Oh, where was that? In the, in the East End. What sort of shop? It was a newsagent. Oh, all oh, right. Oh, excuse me just a second. <laughs> I knew it. Sorry? I knew I'd seen you before. You're the actress, Flick Richards, aren't you? Yes. Yes, yes, I am. You were in EastEnders. I saw you on the telly. You were great. Well, thank you, Tony. <laughs> that, that Christmas episode when you walk out of the shop and you never come back, I had my mum in tears. <laughs> well, I was sad to leave the show. <laughs> Look, this is um, this is a bit embarrassing, but all these 
public facing roles then they're, they're theater or tv parts right yes yes i I, su I suppose they were so the housekeeper that was mrs pierce in pygmalion george bernard shaw pygmalion my fair lady without the music oh right yeah and uh, the nanny oh you probably know that one i was mary poppins 20 years ago now oh my god 20 years ago <laughs> I, I i took my wife to that on our first ever date you flew across the stage right it was amazing <laughs> well there were some wires holding me up <laughs> and what about the florist oh that was calendar girls i played chris married to rod the florist the part that helen mirren played in the film wow i wish i'd seen that thank you tony look um flick uh, i mean felicity I, I i don't think there's any point in asking you the formal questions because I, I think it's safe to say that you've never had a a, a proper public facing job well I, I did some waitressing for a while back in the, back in the 80s when i was at drama school yeah uh, i don't think that's going to be enough to take you to the next stage oh <laughs> excuse the pun oh i feared that oh look tony there's no acting work out there for any of us during lockdown. In fact, there probably won't be any more work coming in for a year at the earliest. Look, I love what I do with the public. And I'm sure with my talents, I could play the part of a shopkeeper. I wouldn't even need a script. I'm brilliant at improvising. No, I'm sure you are. Look, um, I'll, I'll have a word with my boss. You never know, but I, I can't promise anything. Thank you, Tony. No. Thank you, Felicity. I can't wait to tell my wife about this. I can honestly say this is the most entertaining interview I've done for years. Well, that's some review. <laughs> Thank you, Felicity, and goodbye. Thank you, Tony. Goodbye.